Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Atomic Heart. I'm your host, HK1990, and this is HK1990 Gaming. I hope you're ready to play, because we're diving right back in. Hello? We're here? Ooh. Why? You won't fool me again. You're mine now, shitbird. Hear that, fuckhead? Show's over! There you are. Always breathing down my neck. Where's the doctor? Larissa. She... she dumped me. Unbelievable. I don't know where she is. Maybe she's... Back. What about Molotov? He didn't believe such enough, did he? Molotov's dead. Then it all makes sense. What makes sense? Collective will activate. And that's the end of everything. What? What's wrong with people controlling robots with their minds? You're the one who created the goddamn system, you prick. I had no idea what Sechenov was planning to do with it. Unlike you, he wasn't planning to kill anybody. <laughs> oh, really? You believe that? Then why did all those peaceful robots start hacking everyone Because to you reprogrammed them, that's why. <laughs> Are you serious? How stupid can you get? Do you have any idea how long it takes to write a functional algorithm for a single robot? And there are dozens of models here. So what? <laughs> I'll tell you what. Combat mode was programmed into them during the initial design phase. And sure, no one ever thought it'd be activated here in the Soviet Union, and that was totally on me. <laughs> but I can assure you that Sechenov's plans are far, far worse than this. And he has to be stopped! Bullshit! I'm sick of this crap. You're gonna tell me right now how to switch the robots out of combat mode. <laughs> Sorry. That's not gonna happen. Hell it will. <laughs> I've already put everything into motion. Stop! This was supposed to be I said a stop. special day for us. I was going to propose to her the day Collective was launched. And it was going to happen right here in the theater. How symbolic. Watch out, your hands! Give this to Larissa. No! Shit! No! Fucking damn it. Fuck. What do we do now? Fuck me, you clown. Oh, you're definitely dead this time. Shit. P3 to Chilome. Come in, Chilome. Finally. Do you have Victor? Petrov killed himself in a creative way, and I couldn't stop him. Damn! Is his head intact? Yes. I'm looking at it right now. Keep the head safe, P3. I'll send you a special container. Put it inside. And the rest will be done automatically. Wrong. Wrong again. Regret and self pity will be your lot. Why didn't I just give it to that thing? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the greatest show on earth. Today, we bring you the debut of a new rising star. Please bear with us if the act seems a bit unpolished. The young lady's still rather shy, but we'll work out the kinks as we go. After all, there's nothing wrong with a little kink, is there? It is my great pleasure to present to you the lovely Natasha! No. I knew we were going to have to fight this thing eventually. I didn't want to, though. How about this? Stop that. <laughs> 
Sorry, my ear itches. Would you stop shooting me with your rockets? Fucking tin man. Whoa, 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 whoa. I said there would be mines. Sergey, did you search Petrov's body, my boy? Did you find any gold rings on him? No, sir. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Very well. Report to the Pavlov mm -hmm. complex at once. Yes, sir. I'm on my way. Dude, these robot heads look crazy.
place to save it. What is your current status, Comrade Major? I'm detecting a loss of focus and an intense surge of emotion. My status? I'm losing my fucking shit. That's my goddamn status. I failed my mission again. Victor's dead. And I've got his head in a damn jar, and Sechenov thinks that's all fine and fucking dandy, get it? No, Comrade Major. I've done a lot of shit in my day, okay? But I've never lugged a human head around as a trophy. Did you see that gigantic robot in the theater? There was a combat robot in the theater, Charles. But you know what really grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. The rings. The motherfucking rings that asshole Petrov gave me. And you know why it grinds my gears? No, Comrade Major. Me? Neither. Shit. Whatever. It's okay. I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, we're headed to Pavlov. Got any ideas? Pavlov is a secret complex located in a remote part of facility 3826 called Sahalin. It would be quite difficult to get there on foot given the large number of enemies. I suggest taking a vehicle. And, Comrade Major, this would also be an excellent time to enhance your arsenal as much as possible. Searching for other testing grounds is highly recommended. All right. Enough complaining. Let's move. There, there, Major. Whatever you say. Authorization. Major Nichayev. Yeah, we want to we wanna see if we can upgrade that polymer. See, I'm liking this mass telekinesis. Doesn't look like an upgrade anything. Let's see if we can upgrade a character thingy. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Please wait. select the desired procedure. I got out of there way too quick. I, I was need to check. Energy management. Okay, can't do that either. All right. in here oh my gosh screw you Stuff over there I can't get to. What do you got for me? Delicate quest. Alina, have you heard they're gonna be uh oh. I've read that before. I'll tell you what I want. I want her. I want to embrace her, to protect her, to cherish her. And no one can stand in our way. All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players, and that includes me. I'm going to play my greatest role here at this theater. And my robots will assist me. It'll be the greatest show of all time. It should be on Sunday. It's a special day, a day that would become momentous indeed. I think I know which day to pick. Let the whole world drown in blood. We just need to survive until that moment. Until the day when Collective updates to version 2.0 and shatters into a million pieces. That's when we'll take the greatest step in our lives. And Larissa will be ours. Ah, yes. Yes, my precious. <laughs> well, boy, what are you smiling about, huh? <laughs> it's because you're a mirror, isn't it? <laughs> Leave that open. Did you enjoy the show? Thank you. Please come again. Come back soon. We're expecting an amazing new batch of robots for your entertainment. Thank you.
Vex shell will be even more interesting. Please come back here for a sequel. I see you enjoyed the show so much. You leave to purchase a ticket. Please go to the ticket booth. The other end of the foyer. Don't forget the snack bar. Please proceed to the bar. Did you leave anything in the coat check room? Please proceed into the restroom. Leave this place! Oh, you ain't gonna tell me twice. I'm out, bro. Major P3, I'm waiting for you in the Pavlov complex. Everything is ready for your arrival. I'll be there as fast as I can. I suggest using a car to move between the research complexes. There was a surge of sprout activity on the surface. The place is positively overrun with mutants. Right. Mutants. Got it. Is that all? Just one more question. No. Filatova wasn't there. I understand. You didn't find any gold rings on Petrov's body, did you? Two rings with beta 1 and beta 2 engraved on the inside? No, he didn't have anything on him. P3 out. <laughs> Oh, you got a shield, do you? You got a shield, do you? Oh, no. Your shield didn't work for him? Did your shield not work for him? Alright. Uh, being a jerk to the robots. I know. Um, it said do testing grounds. We should do, we should do some testing grounds. Um, How goes it, Sonny? Still in one piece? Did I hear right? You finally got that bastard Petrov. Well, nothing gets by you, huh? Yeah. got him. Actually, he kind of got himself before I could get him. Don't you worry. Oh, yeah. If you got his head, that means this will all be over soon. Then you can get some sleep. Now you're speaking my language, Granny Zena. Mind if I stop by for a cup of tea? Stop by any time, Sonny. By the way, uh, you didn't happen to find any engraved gold rings while you were off chasing after Petrov? No. I didn't, Granny Zena. Petrov didn't have anything on him. Oh, that's okay. You just watch yourself, Sonny. Stop by if you need anything. Everybody's really interested in these golden rings, man. Alright. Why see. have you deceived everyone, Comrade Major? Petrov gave you those rings before he died. Everyone else is deceiving me. Even Dr. Sechenov, and I never saw it coming. Would you kindly be more specific? Petrov said combat mode was programmed into the bots during construction. He couldn't possibly have reprogrammed them all himself. It's true, goddammit. That Natasha was armed with fucking missiles. Where'd it get him, huh? It's a construction robot. Petrov couldn't have armed it with missile launchers. He's not an engineer. He couldn't have hacked into the robot plant and started changing shit around. He fooled the central hub and made it think innocent people were an invading army. That's it. So why would a construction bot have built-in missile launchers, huh? Unfortunately, after analyzing your logic, I am forced to draw the same conclusion. Especially since your suspicions are more justified than you know. What do you mean? Exactly that. Listen to this recording. What duty are you referring to, Comrade Sechenov? Do you even realize that if the Americans find out that your robots can be switched to combat mode, I guarantee your project will be dead in the water. To my profound chagrin, I failed to pay sufficient attention to the phrase Robots can be switched to combat mode. I took it as a colorful expression Molotov used to cast dispersions upon Dr. Sechenov. The Atomic Heart Project. Petrov wasn't lying. Sechenov and the Politburo want to conquer the U.S. and the entire world. I, I kind of saw that coming, though, didn't you? Why can't I click on these cameras? Now what this place is for? There we go. I guess I gotta go to this one to get those working. That's fine. Take me down. I don't even remember how to use this thing. Oh, that's 
the heck, bros? Lights out! Lousy piece of shit! Oh, so this one gripped the ground, huh? That's why you shot. It didn't help you out at all, did it? Got other stuff in here. Whoa! Air me ground, bros! You, bro. Wait, can I do the same thing to you? Oh, yeah. Alright, that, that may actually be OP. Oh, look, there's a bunch more of you. Oh, bro, there's a whole hive right here. Stop running away. Can you even break this thing? Oh, we don't have to break it. We just gotta go the right way where I want to go. Um, this is not that way. Oh, lucky enough, it's on the road.
Protected by the enemy. More robots will arrive shortly. I mean, I wish I could, wish I could put down some kind of pinpoint thing. Um, see, I, I can't. The thing I'm looking for is over by the bridge, though. There's that. Charles, why does everyone want those rings so bad? You mean the beta connectors? Because they work, but are also considered not to exist. So nobody can prove they're out there, not even Collective after the launch. Especially not Collective after the launch. For Collective, anyone connected via the beta connectors will simply not exist. But they'll be able to see Collective. Yes, all of it. A person with a beta connector will not be able to influence Collective from the inside, since they won't exist for Collective. But they will know about everything that happens inside it, just like any officially connected human or robot. But can't an officially connected human or robot disconnect from Collective if they want to? They can just take their thought device off, right? I have no data, Comrade Major. But no one can stop a person from removing his or her thought device. It's worn on the head, not to... Planted in the skull. It's a really cool bridge. That was good. Excuse me. Pardon me. Oh, there it is, right there. Crazy out there. Ah, here we go. Let's try this one. Yeah, 
Let's try this one. I don't think any that's actually gonna see this place. Um, it's kind of annoying. Googling it, hold on one sec. Oh no, okay. Well, that's a fine, how do you do? <sighs> we gotta go back. Maybe we don't have to. Should we just continue the story? I think we're I think we're doing fine. You know. Hold on, let's Just look here. Does he have anything I want? Expansive converter, thermal imager. I mean, okay. Homing projectiles. Oh, fat boy homing projectiles with that. Uh, I mean, maybe. Maybe. You know what? Let's just do the story. Let's, let's just do the story. Because I think this has a, uh, a game plus or whatever. So... Worst case, it doesn't, and I might replay the game, right? But I'm really just here for the story anyway, so... Driving does not feel great. Oh boy. I mean, driving kind of feels okay in here. It just doesn't feel great. Charles, no one can force somebody into collective, right? Petrov was wrong about that. Not entirely. What do you mean, not entirely? If I'm not a member of collective, how can collective find out about me? It's quite simple. Let's say you walk past a robot. The robot identifies you as a human, but you are not wearing a thought device. The robot fails to receive mental commands from you in response to its queries. But I can just put my thought on, walk past the bot and do everything I'm supposed to do, then take the thought off, right? Essentially, yes. Oh. There's gotta be more to it than that. I'm gonna rip your heart out! Oh, my God. 
I would really appreciate it if you would put me down, sir. And I would have really appreciated not being laid on. <laughs> no, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. I don't want to die by the, by the rest of the evil with the monsters that they got here. I killed one. I killed one. Yeah, look at that. I killed one. Taking a friend's guilt.
this thing again. So I guess if I kill it... So I guess once you destroy it the first time, you don't get parts from it the second time. That's a shame. Alright, cool. Alright. See what we can do polymer wise. I'm loving this uh, telekinesis though, that's that's for sure. Okay, we can do drastic measure when the gloves reserves are please telekinesis that can consumes ATP from your bloodstream, enabling you the ability at the cost of your health. Wow. Um, then we got the neuropolymer accelerator reduces cooldown of mass telekinesis. We should probably go with that one. That one sounds less dangerous. Um, what's this one do? Energy Vampire drains energy from enemies gripped by to restore the Okay, no, that one's great. That one's great. Um, I don't know. We gotta get this to get increased impact though, and that's the increase the duration for which enemies are held in the air. So, let's go ahead and grab it, I guess. Worst case, I might die. <laughs> Personal upgrades, let's see. See if we can upgrade the Swede anymore. It's already upgraded best it can be there. Put some more here. Uh, resources. Oh, it's already upgraded. Okay. Even though I still haven't remembered how to do like really dumb for not knowing how to do this right now. Oh god, that's how you do it. There we go. Oh, no. You know what? Uh, next episode, we'll do stuff. We're going to save it. I will see y'all in the next episode. And until then, be ready to play. See ya. Hey, everybody. Appreciate you watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit that like button. Don't forget to comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, be ready to play. See ya.